my fellow con artists. Welcome to a show I like to call News. Communicator on. So I called you con artist because I got to go to Comic Con and I'm really excited about it. Yay! I got this t-shirt there and I got a 20% off coupon for more shirts. So I'm gonna share that with you guys in the links below if you wanna get some shirts. Let's just start. Movie news. Steven Spielberg made his first ever Comic-Con appearance to talk about the new Tintin movie that he's making with Peter Jackson. Everyone that got to see the sneak peek of that, I didn't see it, um, said that it was incredible, amazing, and everyone's looking forward to it. But the most exciting news, I think maybe, Jurassic Park number four is going to be making its way to theaters in the next two to three years. And I'm going to bet my booty that it will be in 3D. What do you guys think? And in other movie news, Hardcore Nerdity reports that they have released the concept art for the Avengers movie, and it looks so cool. All the characters look exactly the way they should look, and, but with some more atmospheric coolness added in. I think that it looks great, and all of the casting looks really good too. In TV news, do you guys remember that Wonder Woman TV show that I sort of made fun of quite a bit because I didn't like the costume? and then it got canceled before we even got to see any. Well, some of the footage has been leaked, and I have, I have to say I was going to go watch it thinking, oh, I feel guilty, I complained about that show, and then it never got a chance. I'm sure it has nothing to do with me, but I went and watched the, the leaked footage, and I have to say, it's one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. I have a link to it below. If you want a good laugh, go laugh. Sorry, if I keep picking on you, Wonder Woman show, but you're terrible. Sorry. There's so much comic news from Comic-Con, but this, I thought, was sort of the biggest news. DC is totally rebooting all of their titles. Every single comic book under the DC title is going to be rebooted next year. So they're going through all of these interesting processes of starting each thing from scratch. And Jim Lee is overseeing all of this. He's my favorite artist of all time in comic books, by the way. But here he is talking about how he has to approve every new belt buckle and boot. So we, we would start drawing designs, scan them, color them really quickly, and send them back and forth via email. And then we start breaking all the artists of the various books, layering them into it. And so we have these huge email chains on all these costumes where we argued about the stubble and belt buckles and materials and length of uh, capes and skirts and you know, everything. And, uh, and then on top of that, as the pages started getting done and coming in, I really went over all the artwork and just gave feedback to uh, the artists. In other comic book news, Hardcore Nerdity is also reporting that Star Trek is going all crossover on our asses with the Legion of Superheroes. What do you think about this? I don't know if I think that Star Trek should um, cross over with other comic titles. I didn't think that the X-Men crossover was a super great idea. There were some funny parts in it, obviously, with the conflict of the characters meeting, but usually I think it sort of cheapens, cheapens the Trek. What do you guys think? You can totally disagree with me, feel free. Leave it in the comments. And that is our news for today. I hope that you enjoyed your peekage at, at Comic-Con. Um, I actually only got to go because someone gave me their ticket. And so that person gave, it also has an iPhone app. So if you want to show them some love for giving me their pass, I'll put that in the links below too. Okay, that's it for today. Here's some pissy kisses. And some Eskimo kisses. And both of the kisses. And elephant and kisses. And that's all. That's all. Um, I hope that I saw you guys at VidCon. I got to meet a few of you at Comic Con. Um, yay, that's my story. Bye.